here with you tonight to do a little more Day Mare 1998. Uh, and I only got like an hour or so, but before we get rolling, I just want to expound on what this game is real quick. This is a indie retro style survival horror game that attempts to ape the survival horror classics of the 90s, your Resident Evil 2, uh, your Silent Hill went away, mostly, basically it's Resident Evil 2, uh, but with a unique story. And it's actually, you know what, I'm going to be frank with y'all. You're going to hear a lot of people talk shit about this game. It's true. Uh, the frame rate is shit on console. Um, the translation is not professional. The cinematics, also kind of goofy. But I will tell you this, I am loving my time with this. If you want straight ass 90 survival horror cheese and jank, this is a love letter. So I really encourage you. It goes on sale pretty darn frequently. I encourage every one of you to just grab this damn game. They got a sequel coming out, and they claim they've learned a lot. And you know what? I hope I'm going to try to phrase this in a very specific way. I hope they don't learn too much. You know, uh, because what a lot of people view as mistakes in this game or errors, you know, the shitty translation, the terrible acting. Honestly, it's a good fit, I think. You know, I mean, this is fucking dumb as shit. And I love it. I love it. I'm having a good time with this. And I hope and think you will too. Okay. Gang, enough of this horse shit. Let's get into some Day Mare in 1998. And honestly, <laughs> hand to God, I'm going to say this right fucking now. This is like a a Dollar General Resident Evil. And Day Mare 1996 looks like a Dollar General Dead Space. And it's probably one of my most anticipated titles of 2022. Alright, let's fucking get into it, fam. Alright. After witnessing the brutal slaying of his wife, Samuel pursues the mysterious and ruthless killer into the city to exact his dire revenge. He arrives in keen sight via, that's the town, via an old funicular. And if you don't know what the fuck a funicular is, I didn't either. Don't hate yourself. It's a pandemic. Be easy on yourself, please. Uh, it's a fucking, it's like a trolley car. It's, no, not like a trolley. It's like, it's like, I don't fucking know, man. It's like one of those fucking, like, rail cars that go between mountains and shit you see in World War II movies. It's one of those fucking things. It's, it's kind of fucked up. He finds himself in front of Sacred Heart Hospital, where the killer was headed. In the parking lot of the building, however, he witnesses something totally unexpected. And that's where he left off last night. I can't fucking wait to see what kind of wacky ass shit is going to fucking pop up for us right here, y'all. I got my coffee, bitches. Let's go. Sacred Heart. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what happened next would jeopardize my plan. Don't jeopardize his plan. This is Liev. I've reached the extraction <laughs> point. Standing by for evac. Over. Liev is your main character at first. Total dick. Oh shit. It's Sandman. You can walk away from this. Sandman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How is this possible? Your guess is as good as mine. But aren't you the least bit curious of how your little stunt affected me? Oh, come on, Leaf. You still got one more round to show me something before you throw in the towel. I'm throwing it in. See, I've got a flight to catch. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a fuck about boxing. <laughs> you throw your hands pretty fast, Major. I'll give you that. But tell me this. Can you throw your hands? <laughs> oh, shit. Can you 
throw your hands faster than a bullet. You're knee deep in shit and your neck high in deeper shit. On a crash <laughs> course to soiling those pretty hands of yours. Tell me pretty this hands. Cross your mind. What you did to me at Groom Lake. No? Well, this time, you're stuck on my battlefield, bitch. And you'll be the one bleeding out, not me. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. Because when it's all said and done, Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, oh shit! Live! Life is me just like boxing. It's like your opponent and thinking you'll do one thing. Then you rip his fucking arm off, just like in boxing. He won't be coming back for the sequel, fam. You know, I could have let you die back in '94. Yeah, letting you die would have saved us both the headache. The state of the board had gotten worse, and Sam Walker was officially the next mouth to stitch shut. Okay. Especially now that I had lost control of my pawn and the ability to recover our precious samples. I can't fuck. Wow, gang, I don't know what the fuck is going on, y'all. Shit is wild out here at Sacred Heart. Holy shit. Fucking. I didn't think Lev would be fucking just like fucking terminated with extreme fucking prejudice like that. Holy goddamn. This game doesn't mind throwing some surprises your way, but let me ask you this. Game, can you throw surprises faster than a bullet? This is fucking awesome, guys. Alright. I am about to fucking die. And I still don't have any fucking inventory so it'd be cool I could get some kind of fucking health up in this bitch didn't I see some fucking ammo yes right there oh my god dad okay oh nice shorts fella little 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 skimpy there Okay, this is not where I'm going. Oh, I got to examine the corpse. I wasn't even looking at the fucking story. Oh, my God. I can't believe they fucking murked Liev. Oh, my God. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Fuck yeah. Alright, Sam is ready to fuck some shit up. He's got a shotgun, a pistol, one of those big ass Chinese Android smartwatches, and hallucination pills. He is a man on the fucking edge, and he ain't, man, you don't even. F he's a man on the edge, and he has come to fuck. That's all I got to say. And he ain't got no fucking health, and he ain't got time for your fucking shit. Don't forget, his wife just died, people. Right in front of him. So he is single and ready to mingle. And by mingle, I mean adventure death. All 
I sure hope I can get some health. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, maybe this is more like Silent Hill than I thought. the hell game I've spent the majority of my adult life working in healthcare facilities and I uh, I have never seen a nurse dress that way find evidence that the killer is nearby I bet I can Well, that was very welcoming. Health? Health? No. Hmm. Let's go to the front door. What the hell? Bullseye. Take out 50 enemies with headshots. Nice. Man, if you got a vending machine, you should be able to fucking break it. My main question is, is this some kind of test? So help me God, if you're testing me here. This game is a lot of fun, gang. And I say that reserving the right to get fucking pissed off and fucking quit if they try any bullshit but you know what they go out of their way to be thoughtful they really do you can skip any puzzle that's giving you a hard fucking time how's that for you and I thought Silent Hill was being thoughtful when you could make easy puzzles Okay, what even is my fucking goal here? I forget. Oh my god, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, objective. Okay, just find the fucking guy. Well, that should be, unfortunately, pretty easy. They're pretty fast, too. All right, let's see. What the flipping heck? Okay. That is oh, she's got that's a bold choice for hair. I like that. Health, any health? Anybody? 
I don't want to get too far because if they let me go really any fucking further, that'll mean this is where I'm supposed to go. And I don't want to go there. I want to go to the off shots where they put the health, damn it. Keen Sight Secret Heart Hospital Personnel ID card. Name Stewart. Surname Paxton. Occupation Attendant. Security Level 6 is a personal code marked on the back. The numbers are 667. The Mark of the Beast. Okay, 667. A poor right. Yeah, I guess that's pretty 1998. I got married in 2001, and we were still using Polaroids then. So 98 could definitely be a Polaroid kind of year. I know, Jesus Christ, I sound so old. I got married in 2001. I don't have the key, but I got a lot of heart. Okay, well, clearly I am supposed to go down here. I better find some damn health at some point. Gang, sit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Samuel is in a bad state, y'all. I mean, he at one point he had access to pills. <laughs> 